All right, chances are if you're watching this video, you're wanting to learn how to make a bowling ball pin, and I will teach you how to make that exactly. Uh, by the end of this tutorial, this is what your bowling ball, bowling ball pin will look like. And yeah, let's get right into it. So first thing is you're gonna head over to Google. You're gonna look up bowling pin. That's literally it. And then you're gonna wanna, gonna wanna find a image just like this, a 2D image, not something that's on the side like this because your bowling ball pin will look wonky. <clears throat> anyway, so you're gonna, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna right click on the image. You're gonna go to save image as. You're gonna wanna make sure this thing is, this image is a JPEG, one of the only files that Fusion accepts for a canvas. And then you're gonna go ahead and save it. Once you save it, head over to Fusion 360. Um, and then you're gonna go to the top right, go to insert, go to canvas, not decal, canvas. And then you're gonna go all the way down to insert from a computer, go to the image that you downloaded from Google just a little bit ago, and then select any of these two axes that you want. Uh, I would not recommend doing the bottom one. Do these two side ones, make it as big as you need uh, for whatever purpose you're using it. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna make it pretty freaking huge. So let's put this all the way up here. Uh, and to make it easier on you, make sure it's above the bottom axis. Um, so just a little easier to model, all right? Press enter, go to the front view, and the first thing we're gonna be making is we're gonna be making a sketch. So go to create sketch, create on the same axis that your canvas is on, create a line, and you're gonna create a line straight through the middle. Um, this works out for me because I made the canvas, or the canvas is made aligned with um, this green line, so this makes my life a lot easier. You're gonna do it from the top all the way to the bottom about here press enter and this line what it's going to turn the entire drawing into the 3d shape that you want it to be to you know become a bowling pin um, anyway uh, you're not going to go to line you're going to go to fit point spline all the way up here and what this does is it's it works like a normal line um, but um, it um, you'll, you'll see what it does so just select one point and you'll see it kind of curves around as you move it um, it doesn't have to be super precise. You can uh, easily adjust it right after. And then once you get to about here, you're gonna wanna press enter. And then you're gonna want to go to line and line up about here. There you go, until this lights up blue. If it doesn't light up and you did something wrong, you didn't connect it to this line. You have to connect it to the middle line. Uh, I don't know if it will complete if you select it down here, but just select the line, even if it does, if it cuts off the bottom. And then if you need to, you know, press enter again. And then if you need to uh, adjust these sides, these little green lines, so you know it looks more like a bowling ball pin. There you know, it looks fine. All right, and the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to press on this. You're going to go to create, um, or sorry, you're going to go finish sketch. You're going to go down all the way down to create and then you're gonna to go to revolve. Um, and since this is already selected, um, the profile, you're gonna select the axis and you're gonna select this middle line, that uh, line we created. Press that and then press okay. And then we can go ahead and hide the sketch and there you go, your bowling pin has been created. Uh, you can color this however you want. Uh, this line um, will be here. I don't think that you can delete it, so this will be the line will stay there, um, and yeah, that is the bowling pin.